Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So today we'll work out in margin and costing different problem. Very important examination point of view. You may expect in essay question. Please focus today's problem. You'll have maximum understanding and you will not miss important problem of today's class. Before going to the session, let me remind you, please check out the playlist for more subjects whatever may be your course, everything is systematically, uh, it, it is systematically meant it in playlist, different kinds of playlists you will find. So please check it out, use it and don't forget to forward these videos because with lot of energy and time I am preparing these videos at the rate free of cost to all the students. Please forward it. Now coming to the problem, the problem is given this, calculate PV ratio break even point sales required to earn a profit of 40000 the profit when sales are 250000 margin of safety at a profit of 50000 and variable cost for the two periods total all these items we have to find out what is the data given sales profit of two years 2001 2002 both the years sales are given like this and profit is given so far what we have done is uh, generally sales, variable cost, fixed cost it was given. So PV ratio is equal to S minus V by S into 100 that way we used to calculate. Now this is different problem, 2 years sales, 2 years profits are given. Then how do we calculate PV ratio? Please remember these formulas, these two formulas. One is already I gave you in the formulas list this one. This is not given, please note down this. PV ratio is you know change in profit by change in sales into 100. Change in profit means the difference 5000. Change in sales 20,000 okay into 100 so that you will get PV ratio. Next once if you get the PV ratio next target is to find out the fixed cost. Without fixed cost we cannot calculate anything right. So to calculate the fixed cost two formulas. First formula is contribution is equal to Maximum sales into PV ratio. Maximum sales are here 1,70,000 into PV ratio. So that you will get contribution. Immediately you can go for fixed cost is equal to contribution minus maximum profit. This formula is you know I think. S minus V is equal to F plus P. F we have taken outside. Contribution is nothing but S minus V. S minus V minus P. That's it. Now anyway remember these two formulas contribution is equal to maximum sales into PV ratio and fixed cost is equal to contribution minus maximum profit. Both the sets maximum, maximum sales, maximum profit because we have two profit, two profits, two sales. In this way we can find out the fixed cost. Once if you get the fixed cost anything we can find out. Right? Now let us work out the problem. So problem is given, we will start the solution here only. First PV ratio, PV ratio is equal to change in profit, change in profit, formula you have to write, I have already written this so I am not writing once again, change in profit it is 5000, means difference, change in sales, change in sales is 20,000 into 100. So PV ratio is here 25 percent, okay, PV ratio 25 percent. Then after that actually we got PV ratio. To find out BAP we need fixed cost, we will calculate first fixed cost, calculation of fixed cost. What is the formula, first formula contribution is equal to? Maximum sales into PV ratio, okay. Contribution is, contribution is equal to maximum sales, maximum sales are 1,70,000 into PV ratio. PV ratio is 25 percent, 1,700 into 25. Forty-two five hundred. 
once if you get the contribution the next formula fixed cost is equal to contribution minus maximum profit fixed cost is equal to contribution contribution is 40 to 500 minus maximum profit maximum profit is here 25000 minus 25000 it is 17,500 is the fixed cost. Once if you get the fixed cost free, you can work out anything. PV ratio A bit we got, no BEP. So B bit BEP. Am I writing on the top? Can you see the board? I will write it bit down. Break even point. What is the formula fixed cost by PV ratio? I am not writing the formulas, so you know very well. Uh, break even point is fixed cost. Fixed cost is 17,500 into PV ratio. PV ratio is 25%. 25 into 100. 17,500 into 100 divided by 25. 70,000. BEP is 70,000, you got it, okay? Next, CBIT. CBIT is sales required to earn a profit of 40,000. We know the formula. What is the formula? S is equal to fixed cost plus desired profit by PV ratio. Now, sales required to earn a profit. Profit is given 40,000. What would be the sales? So let us find out. S is equal to fixed cost is 17,500 plus sales required to earn a profit of 40,000. Profit 40,000 by PV ratio 25 into 100. We do the calculations 17,500 into 40,000 means 57,000. Okay. Fifty-seven thousand five hundred into hundred divided by twenty-five. Two lakh thirty thousand. Sales required to earn a profit of forty thousand is two lakh thirty thousand. Sales are required to earn a profit of forty thousand. Got it. Next debit. The profit. When sales are 250,000, same formula. Profit when sales are, when sales are 250,000. Sales value is given, okay. Profit we have to find out when sales are 250. 250 is the sales. Fixed cost is, you know, 17,500. Profit we wanted to find out by PV ratio 25%. 25 by 100 you can say. You can just take it to the left side. Two lakh fifty thousand into twenty five by hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred plus profit. Calculation, simple calculations. Okay. Two thousand five hundred into twenty five. Sixty two five hundred is equal to seventeen five hundred plus profit so profit is equal to 62500 minus 17500 45000 when sales are 250000 we will be getting a profit of 45000 clear debit is over next uh, e margin of safety at a profit of 50000 for this EBIT, margin of safety. Generally, margin of safety we take actual sales minus BEP sales, that is the formula. But they are asking margin of safety at a profit of 50,000. In such case, we can go for the next formula. Next formula is 
profit by PV ratio because profit is given. When profit is this much, what would be the margin of shift? So, we will go for the second formula profit by PV ratio. I gave you formulas list right. So, there you can find profit by PV ratio. Profit is here, the set when profit is 50,000. 50,000 by PV ratio. PV ratio is here. Where it is? Yeah, 25 percent. 25 into 100. Two lakh. So, margin of safety is two lakh when profit is fifty thousand. EBIT is also over. Next, F variable cost. We wanted to. They, they are asking us for the two periods. Variable cost for two periods. F. For the period one, two thousand one. Variable cost. How do we find out variable cost when we know three items? Sales, profit, fixed cost we know. Variable cost, easy. Use the formula S minus V is equal to F plus P. Formula we are going to use S minus V is equal to F plus P. For 2001, sales are 1,50,000. minus variable cost. Variable cost we have to find out is equal to F plus P. F is here 20,000. Sorry, F is uh, 17,500. Plus profit 20,000. If you do the calculation somewhere, I will show you here. If you do the calculations, uh, one lakh fifty minus V is equal to twenty thousand plus seventeen thousand five hundred thirty seven five hundred thirty seven five hundred. So variable cost is equal to one lakh fifty minus thirty seven thousand five hundred. One lakh fifty thousand minus thirty seven five hundred. It is one lakh. 12,500. This is variable cost in the year 2001. Next, variable cost in the year 2002. 2002 variable cost. We will use the same formula S minus V is equal to F plus P. But second year we are taking. S is here, sales. Sales of the second year 1,70,000. S minus V, variable cost we wanted to find out. S minus V is equal to F plus P. F is 17,500 fixed cost plus profit. Profit of the second year is 25,000. If we do the calculations, 1,70,000 minus V is equal to, this is 37,500. Profit is, no, 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 this is not 30, 25,000 plus 17,500, 42,500. So, variable cost is equal to uh, 170,000 minus 42,500 comes to 127,500. This is the variable cost of the second year, okay. First year, second year variable cost. Hope it is clear. First, uh, take a screenshot or note down this problem, then I will give you a recap once again. See, nothing is there in the problem. First of all, you have to remember these two formulas. Rest of the calculations we have done already in the previous problem, same way. Remember this formula. So, what, first one is that PV ratio is equal to change in profit by change in sales into 100. And to find out the prof, uh, fixed cost, two formulas. One is contribution is equal to maximum sales into PV ratio. Once if you get that, fixed cost is equal to contribution minus maximum profit. If you remember this, problem is simple. The same thing, we, what we have done, 
uh, we have given sales and profit of 2 years. As per this formula, change in profit, change in profit is 5000, change in sales 20,000 into 100, so you got 25%. Then fixed cost, how do we find out? Contribution is equal to maximum sales into PV ratio. Uh, maximum sales are here, 170,000 into PV ratio, so you got 42,500. Second formula, fixed cost is equal to contribution minus maximum profit. Contribution is maximum profit, maximum, uh, sorry, contribution. Contribution is 42,500 minus maximum profit. Maximum profit is 25,000. So, you got fixed cost. Then, uh, the rest of the calculations are, you know, BEP, we got it, fixed cost by PV ratio. And sales, when profit is 40,000, when profit is 40,000, sales will be 2,30,000. When sales are two lakh fifty thousand, when sales are two lakh fifty thousand, what is the profit? Profit is forty five thousand. You got it. And margin of safety. Simply, if they say margin of safety, we could have taken the formula uh, actual sales minus BEP sales. Actual sales, okay, minus BEP sales. But now here margin of safety uh, at a profit of fifty thousand. At a profit of fifty thousand means you have to go to the next formula. That is profit by PV ratio. Profit by PV ratio. Profit is, they already they have given already 50,000, 50,000 by PV ratio, PV ratio. So, you got it 2 lakh. Next, variable cost of two periods. Both the periods, periods variable cost they are asking. We know profit, sales, fixed cost. Now, we have to find out the variable cost. When one item is missing, as I told you, S minus V is equal to F plus P. Marginal costing equation. This we have to take. Remember always, to find out any one of the item, we'll use this formula only. As per this formula, S minus V is equal to F plus P, we got first year variable cost 1,12,500. Same formula for the second year, we have changed only the values. So, second year you got 1,27,500. That's all. Hope it is clear. Now, you have to work out not only this problem, work out and see are you getting the same answers or not. Take out any other problem from your test book, work out and see. Then you will have more confidence, practice you will get. Check out that playlist and don't forget to share this videos. Practice well, have a bright future. See you in the next class. Good luck.